Okay. Uh, let's see if this big demon hunter list will work. I haven't actually played this style of demon hunter in a little while now. I actually don't really know how I feel like in comparison to like Naga demon hunter, if it's more consistent or less consistent. But I don't know, we should probably keep this because it's a pretty important thing to keep. I guess we could see if we could try and cheat this out. Okay, well that's not something that we want to see in our hand. Um, but you know, we got a new card in here. We got Burning Hearts in here. I don't think we have any other new ones. Oh, I guess we do have Quick Pick. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm not really sure how it's going to do against other lists. Like I said, like Demon Hunter is not dominating right now at all. But I wanted to try it out because I was like, you know, Big Demon Hunter was always fun. And there was a time when it was meta. Let's see, where does it fall on here? Why are you not loading? There we go. Again here. Yeah, Aggro Demon Hunter is like barely tier 3, which is crazy. It has below a 49% win rate. So where does this deck fall? 40% <laughs> win rate. Gosh, this is probably not a good thing to be trying to rank up with then. Uh, I guess its best matchup is Mining Mage, which, I mean, I guess that's kind of a consistent deck to play against. Wow, we just drew everything that we don't want to see. Is it summons a what? This guy? You know, let's just put him back in the deck. We're not in a rush. I mean, if we could find another one of these, that'd be good, but we also lost a coin, so it's probably, you could argue, it's not a good play to do. Okay, well, we got that back, but we put them back in the deck, so that's important here. And we got Quick Pick. That's actually pretty good. Actually, now I think about it, I'm surprised Big Demon Hunter doesn't have at least more consistent play because of Quick Pick. I feel like this would be a really big thing. Like, if you keep this in your opening hand, and you, like, curve out really well with this, and you're able to get to the, like, you know, stuff that you need early on, that shouldn't be too bad. And then, I mean, going down swinging out buff too, it went from five to four mana, so I'm sure, you know, it wouldn't be too bad to handle with certain decks. Okay, how do I want to do this? I mean, we could, what, do this and like trade. It's kind of mediocre. I think it's kind of better to do like Burning Heart on your Eldari Inquisitor. You know, you get that attack up to 11 and you could attack for 22. It's actually kind of big to do. So I think we might want to save that for that instance. We could also just I Beam this now. I want to do this first. Uh, we could actually tempo this out. Do four, trade, we'll draw a card as well. Go Faith, it's not too bad. Or Spectral Insight draws us two cards. Um, the Illidari Studies, does that cost, cost one less? Uh, so we won't be able to do this if we do decide that. So I think we're going to lead towards this. We also net a 3-3 from this, which isn't too bad. Actually, I think I might want the fate. Now we want to save this for the uh, Inquisitor. Let's go ahead and make that trade. Okay, this is fine. And tapping there doesn't really make sense to do it. I mean, we're going to kill the thing either way. It doesn't matter if we have five attack or less. It doesn't benefit us, benefit us at all. Okay, so next turn we want to make sure that we do play two spells so we can have this ready. So I think either way we're probably going to be playing Burning Heart. And they'll load the chamber here. Ooh, and fail spell cost one less. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, down the ship. Okay. Uh, looks like we might be investing these two into that, which I don't know if this is the best. Oh, there's a coin. Mm, if we played one more spell, we could actually be doing it a turn sooner. So this is active. Oh, it does make it cheaper too. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Loaded Chamber also makes this cost less because of Naga. I didn't realize that. That's cool. I'm surprised this deck isn't as good. They, they got like some passive cards that could actually help out uh, the big Demon Hunter, like archetype. Hmm. 
I guess we'll see though how how we do. I mean, we're at diamond three. We're, we need three more wins to hit diamond two. So I don't know. Plague Death Knight is uh, up there on being pretty good. It's very consistent. Um, I was actually debating on if I want to play that and record for it, but then I ultimately decided on this because I was like, this list is just too fun not to do. So might as well, right? Okay, do we get Inquisitor? We do. Cool. Now let's do this. And this. And this. This will do that. Oh, wait a second. How does that work? Oh, it gives you hero plus three attack. I didn't realize that. Okay. I thought it was the, the minion three attack. Oh. Okay. Not as crazy as I thought it was. I definitely, I definitely swore this was like a, uh, on the, on the minion. I definitely read that wrong. Why, why would we want our, okay. Yeah, that's whatever. That was definitely a misplay then. See what, what del two and then it survives. Oh, okay. So I should have done it here then. That's my bad. I definitely read that wrong. See, why? I definitely thought this <laughs> attached to the <laughs> Inquisitor. Okay. So that'd make it even more broken if that was the case, but that's fine then. So he trades there. I mean, I still think we we win. Oh nope, that might have cost us a game then. Oh wait, he still makes a trade. Okay. Oh, that's a bad card to draw at that time. Unfortunate. I mean, I think we just have to go ahead and do this play. It clears everything. We don't take any damage from it. We do have to trade there, though. Unfortunately, we can't go face, but it's fine. We're at least close to our Aslar. We have Aslar. If we could draw, you know, such a little time, that'd be lovely, too. Yeah, I don't know why I thought this gave the minion a targeted three attack. I feel like that'd be a little bit more better than giving us the hero. Yeah, my mistake, I guess. Oh, no. Okay, well. How do I want to do this? I guess it really depends on what we draw here. Hmm, yeah. Guess we'll see. I'm getting that's not great for us. Either the Invoker or Inquisitor. Either way. That's not a demon, right? Yeah, it's not. It doesn't really matter if we get either of them. And if we get the, you know, if we get either of them, he's getting, you know, HP from that because he just go for the blood. Do I want this to go face? I mean, we're, he has taunts up. We're not going to have really any way of getting through the taunts, do we? I mean, unless Zylog magically hits face every time, which I don't really want to rely on that. So we're going to make the trades here, unfortunately, and probably not send it to face. Yeah, this will just have to be the best option for right now. Unless we could like do something with like... I, I don't even know. Like Arcanist with Unleash Fell. I don't really have any other options for it. Oh, he goes for the blood there? Okay, that's fine. I'd much rather be on like this rather than an 8-8 eight eight or a, you know, any of our other demons. It will be hard to get through that though, but if I think if we get through the taunt and we'll probably take him by surprise, we could probably just kill him. But it kind of dictates on what we draw. If we get Sigil Time, that'd actually be pretty solid, I think. Because now I can't Blood Rune this, so we can maybe play this. If we get Inquisitor, we can trade, trade, tap, and then go face. Okay, well that doesn't happen. I guess really, if I'm looking for like Unleash Fell, that'd be kind of good here, actually. Play this, Unleash Fell, tap. Oh, okay. Well, never mind that play then. Actually, wait, is that? No, it's still, it's three damage. Annoying, man. And Burning Heart, a card that I did not really want to see. 
Yeah, we didn't even get the good one. That's unfortunate. Yeah, now I think I understand why the reason why this deck isn't all that great. It doesn't have much stability, like, I don't know what I'm looking for. Sustainability compared to, like, like Death Knight. I mean, they have really good answers. And the Primus is just probably one of the best Titans. It's ridiculous how good it is. I'm surprised they didn't buff Titans up and nerf Titans, because I feel like, what? I feel like Mage could have gotten buff. I feel like Demon Hunter could have gotten a buff. What a what other Titan is there? And like Warrior. I know Warrior got a buff, technically speaking. He went up from 4 HP to 5 HP, but like. I don't think that's really all that great. Yeah, but we lose this game. But we don't we don't. Yeah, we just play this. It doesn't really change anything. We just lose. Yeah, I think, I guess, judging by what he had in his hand, it didn't matter if we did actually cast the Burning Flames onto our Inquisitor. So, he still had, you know, the uh, Tomb Trader and then, you know, the uh, that guy to trade into it. So, it was going to die either way. So, it was an unwinnable matchup, I think. Unfortunately. It looking good for a second, though. We did a lot of damage. Ooh, okay. I, 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 you know, I got the uh, portrait for this, but I haven't used it yet. I don't play as much mage lately. Yeah, I don't really think we want to keep any of this in our hand, do we? Yeah, no, we want to look for the Enforcer, the Invoker, Astellar, I-Beam, Quick Pick, Sizzle Time. Even Load the Chamber something we want to keep, see as well. Hmm. Kind of interesting with this list, like, the played win rate, there's only like three or four cards that are actually like you have a really high like played win rate and looking at like other lists. Uh there's more cards in the uh in other decks that have that, you know, higher played win rate or whatnot. But Demon Hunter's been like consistently like underperforming. I'm kind of surprised they haven't done more to it. Yeah, Demon Hunter's number 11, Mage's number 10, Priest's number 9, Shaman's number 8, Rogue 7, Warlock Paladin, Death Knight, Warrior, Druid. Those are the top 5. <sighs> it's crazy. Ooh, we got a quick pick, though. It's something that we haven't seen opening hand. Same thing with the Invoker. So we're already looking pretty good here. We have a Demon for this, so... Let's just hope... And actually, our best matchup is against actually this, so I'm sure we could actually win with this. So we could, like... We do have the Invoker, so we need to play spells, so that is something that we need to... Let's do this first, actually. I'm actually okay with this. We don't have any other draw aside from the weapon. I kind of want to lean towards this, actually. Let's do this. Visitor, I don't love that, but it's fine. Hmm. Actually, with Inquisitor, I think I'm going to go through uh, with this. I actually save the weapon here. This is already ready. We can save the weapon so we guarantee attacks. We don't have to waste mana. I'm going to actually do that. That's also something to remember. I've like playing this deck in the past. I've always made the mistake where I'll forget to save mana. To actually, you know, tap even though this is one mana. Oh, there's freeze in the deck. I forgot about that. It's not gonna matter for right now as long as you know. Wait, do, do we, are we able to attack if we're frozen? Then attack each enemy. I don't. I think this still goes through, doesn't it? It does, but we lose our. We seriously pull both the demons out? That is ridiculous. Wait, how much does it go? Two? Oh, it... Okay. I guess I'm learning. I didn't think it would count towards the durability, but I guess it does say attack, so... It's kind of weird, but it's fine. This really stinks. We drew both our demons. This is another thing why this deck isn't as... good as it used to be. Which I don't know how, like, 
why it's changed, but I mean the meta's changed clearly, but like just all this. Weird. Yeah, I guess looking for this. Actually I'm okay with the wayward stage here. Make this cheaper, it's kinda not too bad. Yeah, I guess we're gonna let him get away with that, but it's fine. Let's see, this is gonna summon. Dude, why don't we play the nine cost demon either? The nine nine, the brutal Anylon, I think is what's called. I think that would be good to be played as well. Just to have more demons in the pool. This is supposed to be our best matchup. I guess you can know we could argue that I misplayed per se. Two, four, six, eight. I'm actually gonna there, let's see. We're gonna do this. We'll take that damage. Yeah. That's fine. Six mana, they can't deal eleven damage, I don't think. Okay. But we have this ready now, so I'm actually okay with that. Now we get a bunch of these. We tap. Let's give this guy a rush. Yeah, we're for sure guaranteed to like hit that, right? We got six of these. Yeah, okay. He could definitely deal three damage to that and remove it. But they still do two damage at the end, like you know. But they have each turn, so it, you know, stacks up. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Uh, wait, it's an it's an eight, right? Yeah, so it doesn't deal two or three. I mean, I mean, it's fine. He's spinning spells just to remove these and not clearing that out of the way. This is still gonna do do more damage. Uh, the freezing doesn't matter though. It still triggers its effect. Yeah. Okay. So this is the cool part here. So we're gonna do this. Is a six here. I don't think we miss lethal. We'll stop these on the bottom deck. Even though this is our healing, which is questionable, he might have lethal. But he did spend a lot of his like you know extra stuff removing that stuff. Oh, and that's really nice to see there. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. That would have not changed anything, but that's gonna help for next turn. Okay. He could pull something random out of here. An Organon, okay. The draw could be scary, but yeah, no, he doesn't have enough mana to do anything else. So we just win. I guess this really is our best matchup. I mean, it was kind of scary there for a second, but... I would just say the dude had a pretty aggressive start. Having the Heart Blossom, yeah, stuff like that. But otherwise, it was moderately smooth. Ooh, Paladin, okay. Well, I believe our worst matchup is not Paladin. Our worst matchup was Mech Rogue. So, okay, but we want to keep the Enforcer here. So this is important. Okay, not bad. So we can pull both the uh, Invokers out with, or the other Invoker in the deck with that. That's not too bad. Uh, something else to note is that some of this stuff is going to be rotating. Uh... Like, Sir Finley is going to be rotating. I think Unleash Fell is going to be rotating. Uh, Aslar will be rotating. I believe Arcanus is rotating. I think this came out in Castle Nathria. I think Felrin's rotating. No, it's Outcast. No, Outcast came out. When did Outcast come out? I don't remember. I think this guy is, too. Actually, the demon, like, the, I think all the whole entire package is rotating out. Except this. This is the core card, I believe. So this deck will not be a thing anymore, which is fine. I mean, it has a really low win rate. It's not going to be good and wild at all. So, unfortunately, so this this uh, if you want to play the deck now, now is probably the time to do it because it's going to be non-existent after 
the rotation that's going to happen for it. But I just want to coin this out and play this. I don't think that's really worth it. I think we're going to play this and play this on four. Draw three cards and additional. Uh, we might actually burn if we do that. Maybe I actually should have coined and did that and then followed it up on this with, on turn four. That might have been actually a better play to do. I just think the coin is very valuable, so like not wasting the coin. But we also do need to play spells, so maybe it was the right call to do that. Because that's one, it counts towards that, that's two. Oh, the golden looks really nice actually, wow. Okay, well this play doesn't matter anymore. Oh, that's really annoying. I mean, looking at this, like, we don't have an Arcanist. This only deals one damage. It's not really worth playing. We could play this and, like, tap. Go there. Like, we gotta remove this because you could definitely abuse it. The, uh, the other option is playing this. I'm leaning towards this because we have our demons here. So, we want spells. So, I think we throw this away. Not throw it away, but put it back in the deck. We do that, and we trade there. Now, let's just not draw any of our demons. And if we draw our demons, then we should be in an okay situation. I do, however, want to see I beam Quick Pick. Probably be okay with Silver... Well, I definitely want to see Silver Moon Arcanist, because it's going to deal with the board with our... Uh, only fell. Oh, Reborn and Stealth? Not all that great for us. Okay, Sigil. Okay, we saw Astalar. That's good. Quick pick. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. It's Chaos is good too. Okay, okay. So we're going to do this. Mm. Like that too. <sighs> the next turn, I think we're going to force the coin out for this. I want to actually train something. I don't think he could pull... He could probably pull lethal. He hasn't played any holy spells yet. Yeah, we should be okay. I'm afraid of him buffing us up. I guess he could have, like, what? Um, Shroomscavate, or whatever that card's called. That's six. Eight. You can't play that and Crusader, Crusader Aura, too. So, like, there's not enough... That's yeah, fine. Oh, we got Winfrey on that one, though. And Reborn? What is this guy getting on this? Good lord. Okay. We're in a pretty tough situation. I actually think Xylog is the best situation here because it could actually maybe deal with this board. But if not, if it, if it does not magically hit two here, or at least kill this, we don't. That's three, six, seven, eight. We, we probably just lose. I mean, the hits were almost good. Yeah. Okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, Demon Hunter is just such a not great class right now. Yeah, it's not a good deck to rank up with, but it is what it is. It's not. It's kind of fun to play.